Hello everyone. Welcome to my home. Could you imagine going to a meeting Sunday morning and it's now an unknown speaker is speaking from another land. And then this person walked up with unusual clothing and he's dressed just like the Bible times what a man was wearing. And he uh, walk up to the microphone. He says, I am here to tell you today, you will not be with me in paradise. Can you imagine all the expressions of the elders in the Jehovah Witnesses in the King Hall? Can you imagine, he said that um, his father's name is not Jehovah, because that's not a Hebrew name. And the people who left this religion did research on this religion that you are in right now he could show some miracles to prove who he, prove who he is to show he is Christ So what you gonna do, Jehovah's Witnesses? Are you gonna run him off the stage? Are you gonna curse at him because he refused to recognize this false name of God that you worship for many years? And he just told you that's not even his father's name. What happened if there's a pedophile in your congregation? And he points right at him. You, are, you should be glad you're not in my father's house. Because you have molested so many children in so many years, and you name each victim to that man. What year, what month, what day, and what hour? And then you point fingers at the elders. He point fingers at the elders. He says, you are supposed to be the shepherds of my sheep. And you are disgusting in my face right now. You let this man molest children in this kingdom hall. For many years. You follow a secret book that not supposed to be secret, just like the Bible was never secret 
from the rich man all the way down to the poor man. But your elder's book is. One day, something like that could happen and can happen. Jehovah Witt says, when you put faith in men that you think they are superior in knowledge and wisdom, and you gladly call them your leaders, the governing body. How sick are you? How sick is your reasoning to put a claim of every member all over this earth listen to the governing body they would voluntarily join this religion and become Jehovah Witnesses. Your governing body has proven many times they are unworthy to be trusted by anyone. When they stand up there on your JW broadcast and calling people like me liars saying that we make up fabrication lies about watchtowers covering up pedophiles. And they go to Australia court and had no choice to be there because his father was sick. So he was in that land. I truly believe it was no coincidence. His father got sick almost the same exact month when Australia started these court cases in that exact moment of time. Now think about it, Jehovah's Witnesses. If Christ wanted to bring out the truth about your organization, he picked a fine time for his father to be sick. So he had to come to Australia. Think about it. Otherwise, he would have kept him away. And they would not have not one member of the governing body in Australia court. Your leaders knows the truth about child molesting. They know about the records, the evidence, and the holy, holy, holy to witness rule where a child molester will not break this rule. He will not have two victims at the same time that can testify this elder or member in the congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. 
So he's not going to cross the line and be caught under that rule. And I'm going to give the guy a benefit. He has intelligence to know he's not going to break that rule. Because he knows what's going to happen if he breaks that rule. And Jeffrey Jackson refused to change the rules on that two witness rule to protect the innocent, to bring out the guilty and disgusting sins of their members in their own congregations. Christ is going to judge these governed bodies. And I guarantee one thing, none of these men going to make it to heaven. They're not going to go rule with Christ for a thousand years to help execute as Jehovah Witnesses for not staying in this false religion. He's not going to execute other churches because they didn't want to join to be Jehovah Witnesses. Now, their crimes in their religion is their crimes. But becoming a Jehovah Witness, that would be a serious crime. Since Jehovah Witnesses been on the news, radio, Newspaper, internet, how evil they are, how corrupt they are with a shining policy causing members to commit suicide. Because when you throw a person that being in this giant cage almost a lifetime and thrown out into the world what you with raving wolves, tigers, lions, and they are scared to death to trust anyone because we've been planted that everyone is evil. Some of them commit suicide. Because they have so much fear inside of them. They don't know where to go or where to turn. Or if, without worrying that someone is going to do harm to them because they left this false religion. You think Christ could forgive? the elders who destroyed thousands and thousands of witnesses lives over the years and still doing it could you imagine Christ would be kicking them out of the kingdom halls he wouldn't don't he's not gonna do that because a kingdom hall belongs to Satan the devil. It belongs to the demons. And he's not gonna go into a kingdom hall to te warn them to get out when he has workers that was in this false religion seen the corruptness and see what it really is and that's people like me and others like me 
who let this false religion we are doing the work of Christ it's trying to get people out of false religion to get them to wake up and examine the true teaching of the Bible when judgment day comes for all religion Jehovah Witnesses you're not going to be on the winning side you're not going to be on the side of righteousness because there's your foundation from day one never told the truth Charles T. Russell lied so many times Judge Rutherford lied so many times Nathan Knorr, Freddie Franz, all the way to 2016, even the new president, which he don't talk too much, because the government body think they, they are righteous and when they go to the circuit assemblies or even visit a Kim Hall people goes ooh ah oh, I got to have them come over my house I want to get more spiritual knowledge if only I can touch just just touch his jacket just shake his hand Jehovah could Praise me. I could be stronger. But the only difference is that's not going to happen. That only happened to one woman who touched his outer garment and got healed. Because she had real faith Jehovah Witnesses your real faith in these men is going to destroy you and your family and you refuse and acknowledge the evidence that we know about these evil men you are protecting them just like you protecting the cross calling it a lie every thing you've been taught by these evil men is less dangerous less corrupt than they are I have not found any evidence why people can't celebrate their birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day, even Thanksgiving, stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with those. You fear these men so bad that you will believe in anything and not even using your common sense to say hey this is wrong I see no evidence not to be able to celebrate your own child birthday give him, the, him a birthday present I know I was a sorry scum of an uncle trying to hold down a tradition of watchtower by being an evil uncle by not giving my nieces and nephews birthday presents for their birthday parties and you know something I cannot 
give that back. That time of them was took away. There's no replacing it. Because I put faith in those men when I should have put faith in the Bible, God's Word, and read the proof that the destruction of this organization is going to happen. So it's your choice to follow these men will follow the words of Christ to examine your religion, to examine if you was in the truth, you would be seeking more knowledge to make sure no one creeped in and changed your religion. And sad that, the sad part, no one creeped in to change your religion. The religion is inside itself is changing from evil to evil. Changing its doctrines, changing its history, and you want to call it the truth. I am glad many are waking up from this false religion. This dangerous cult claiming to be the only child of, for the earth to save all mankind is nothing but a scam. Just like any other cult. So that's my story. You can believe it or you can disbelieve it. But when Christ really comes to examine your religion, Jehovah's Witnesses, you might as well kiss you and your family goodbye one last time because you didn't listen to us. Thank you and have a nice day.